Hi, we're Team 10497, the Swamp Bots from Gainesville, Florida. We are a second year team with two returning teammates and four rookie team members. This year we've been really focused on outreach. At the first Northeast Florida League Workday, we gave a demonstration of our ball shooter and helped other teams with their robot design. At the second league workday, our lead programmer assisted with a programming seminar done by Modern Robotics. In November, we went to Palatka High School to raise awareness about FIRST and to support their first year FTC team. Our team started and mentored a rookie FLL team called the Platybots and demoed our robot at their practice day and qualifying tournament. We met with an engineer at Phalanx Defense Systems in Gainesville and got feedback about our robot design and ideas about body armor to protect our robot. We communicate using phone, text, email, Google Hangouts, Drive, and Calendar, as well as Twitter and Facebook. We strengthen our team with the addition of new members. Our new lead programmer is experienced with Java, so we switched over from App Inventor and are working to cross-train our other team members. Our development process is made up of several steps. First, we brainstorm as a team, making sure everyone's ideas are considered. Next, we draw up our designs. Then we prototype different possible solutions to see what works best. The basis of our robot design comes from our game strategy. We decided to focus first on triggering the beacons in autonomous and driver control and shooting balls into the center organs. In order to do this accurately, we calculated the potential and kinetic energy to determine the velocity required to launch the particles. Part of our alliance strategy, we are able to reverse the ball collector to feed balls into our alliance partner if they can shoot balls more effectively. Our creative approach to problem solving has led us to implementing many unique elements to support our strategy. We added a touch sensor to keep from bumping into the beacons during the autonomous period, and a color sensor to decide how to trigger the beacon. To make driver control easier, we added macros to lift and fire the ball automatically. We also added macros to the D-pad on the controller to fine-tune positioning and speed buttons on the bumpers to boost speed or slow down as needed. We document our business funding and strategic plans in our engineering notebook. We track our income and expenses in an Excel spreadsheet and modify our expenses to stay on track. We have set a minimum fundraising goal of $300 per student. We offer different benefits depending on the level of sponsorship. To date, we have raised $2,600 from multiple funding sources, exceeding our minimum fundraising goal. We have also received in-kind donations, including a battery for our charging station, new phones for the driver control and the robot, and even a bagel sponsorship to help feed hungry volunteers at our events. We would like to thank our sponsors for helping us reach our goals for this season.